Hey everyone, on today's video I'm going to create a 3D text design on Illustrator and then finalize it in Photoshop. As always, the working files of this project will be available for free download included on the YouTube membership and on Patreon. So let's open Adobe Illustrator and create a new document 1000x1000 1000 1000 pixels. This design will be based on simple text, so let's take the text tool and write a quote. Let's make it a bit bigger. I will align to center. And then I will separate the quote in several lines in order to have a better shape. Then we can change the font. I select it all by pressing Command A or Control A on a PC. It would be better to use a black sans serif font, uh, so I may use something like the Futura Bold. I will use that one. If I'm not wrong, you can find that font on Creative Cloud. Let's also change the color to a light blue. I will align it to the center of the artboard and now we can start making it 3D. So we can go on this icon here which is the 3D materials but if you don't have it here you can also go through the top menu bar on the effects tab then 3D and materials and click on inflate. Okay now it doesn't look very nice but we're going to make some adjustments. So first we have the object tab. We have the inflate clicked already, then I'm going to change the depth to something like 28 or 30. I will leave the twist and the tapper as they are. Next I will go to volume and I will make it something like 40%. Then I'm going below to edit the rotation. I will make the X axis something like 45, then the Y 35 and the Z axis 30. Next we can go to materials but I will not make any change at this point here. And then on lighting, first I will change the intensity to 80. I will leave the rotation and height as they are and then the softness I will make it 80. I will keep the ambient light and the intensity as it is. And I will turn on the shadows. Let's open that. And here I will only change the shadow bounds to 400%. In order to have the final result, we need to click on Render, and it may take some time to render it. However, after you render it, you can click on this arrow here, and then you can choose the quality from low to medium or high. Okay, as you can see, the result is pretty good as it looks very realistic. Now I will not add anything else, I just need to export it as PNG with transparent background, and I will continue the rest in Photoshop. So I'm going to the top menu on File then export and then export as. Then I select the location to save it, the file format and then click export. Next we move to Photoshop to continue. I will simply open the PNG file from Illustrator but we can also create a new document and add the PNG file inside. Now I will create a new layer, I will move it below and I will add the background colors. So I will select all the area, I right click and I will fill it with a purple color. Next we can select a different color and add a gradient coming from the top right corner. So I will create a new layer, I will change the color, I will take the gradient tool. If you don't see it here, you just need to click and hold on the paint bucket tool and select the gradient tool. So I click and drag, maybe a bit more. Actually I will crop the artboard to make the text bigger, like this. Then I'm taking the gradient tool again, I press on the keyboard button G, and then I click and drag. Ok, now I will add a gradient only on the 3D text, so I will create a new layer. I will move it on top. I will add a clipping mask by right click and create a clipping mask. So that means that whatever I will paint here, it will only be visible on the letters. I will choose a different color. Okay, then I will create the gradient. But I will change the color mode to hue because it will look much better. Like that. 
I will may add a bit more. Yep. Finally, we can also add some ink splashes on the background to make it more interesting. So I will choose another color. And then with the splatter brush, we can add some splashes on the background, which at the moment looks like a floor due to the 3D perspective. Um, also, we need to add a new layer, which I will move it below the letters. Then I will click the brush tool and I right click to take some brushes I have installed already. Last thing to do is to change the color mode of the splashes to overlay. And that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and of course like, share and subscribe for more. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Bye.